We talked about managing work in progress and a Kanban board is a popular way to do that. I'm gonna show you a few common operations related to the material we talked about on a simple flexible tool called Trello that's popular um, as a way to do this. So the cards that you see here, and it's, it's not really important whether you can read the exact text. Um, the cards here represent tasks or user stories and we talked about this is the sprint backlog for HVAC in a hurry. So these are the items on the backlog. As for instance, Shri starts working an item, she might open it up and assign it to herself. And then she might, for instance, move it to working. So everybody knows this is what Shri's working on. She might move it to testing, to product owner review. And then she might remove herself from the card and assign it to Danny, the product owner, so that he knows that he should go in and take a look. Another few things that are um, common facilities that, that get used in different ways for different things are, for instance, labels. So you can code something green, um, yellow, orange, etc. And this is a way that, this is a tool that you might use, for instance, to say, hey, I'm blocked on this, or let's say you're adding both user stories and tasks into your Trello board. This might be a way of delineating what's what. Um, and you can also add checklists. So we talked about the idea that you might want to just use user stories in your backlog so that you can see kind of work in progress that's anchored in a narrative rather than putting also tasks on the board. Well, if you wanted to add tasks and break them down in your card just for your own tracking or other folk, you could, um, you could put in tasks here and you can, you can check them off as you go along if you, if you want to organize tasks here. So those are, the few, uh, those are a few of the most common facilities on the Trello board that, that I see used with practitioners. You may find this a useful way to get started with Agile. It's certainly not the only tool. There are lots of tools out there. And no enterprise software is going to automatically give you a great practice of Agile. So the most important thing is that you think about how you want to use the tool that you're going to use and that that's consistent with your underlying view of what practices you want to implement. So those are a few ideas on how to apply some of the work in progress techniques we've talked about with one common tool for managing Agile, Trello.